hi good morning everybody and welcome to my facebook live this friday um it's lovely and sunny outside um so sunny i've got the blinds closed because we get the sun at the front in the mornings and it's quite blinding which is lovely because the last few days have been a bit hot but grey and miserable so I'm very pleased the sun is finally here so because it's so hot this morning I thought I'd go cold and a little bit wintry <laughs> for the card I'm gonna make this week so I'm gonna use this one Yeti to party and um, so this is the one that I got this, um yeah this is the only new one that I've got from the new mini catalog this is the first one I wanted to get um, because the girls love a Yeti. I don't know where they've got it from or how, but anyway, so I thought, oh, I'd get this. Um, and yes, but I'm not going to do a Christmas card. You'll be glad to know. It's July. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to turn it into a um, birthday card. Although it might be a slightly wintry birthday card, it's going to be a birthday card. Um, so I'm going to swap my camera around and then just show you and what we're going to do, I haven't done it already. I've had a little play, um, so I don't know roughly what I want to do. Um, but you know me, it will probably change as we go along. So give me a sec. There we go. So, like I say, yeah, this is the set that we're going to use. Yeti to party. And there is obviously the Christmas ones. But there's also get Yeti to party, it's your birthday. So we're going to use that. And I'm going to attempt to turn this into a party hat. Um, and then with some presents as well. So we're going to give that a go. Um, in the catalogue, this is it here. It's in this one. If you've got this one. If you haven't got this one, I've still got a th three left. Um, so I can give them out. This is the, obviously the stamp set, so I'm going to aim to do something like this because I really like these mountain stamps um, with the Yeti, but I'm going to try and obviously put some presents and a party hat on him as well. Um, so yeah, so let's get started. Also, I'm going to use, I don't know if last week you remember, where did I put my hippo card? The, the silver and gold papers that are part of the celebration these ones remember these i'm going to use some of those as well um just as a little bit of a background um so i've got some balmy blue card so let's cut our card base for this one Um, so doing that at ten and a half, I'm gonna do it ten fold. Down and then score it at fourteen point nine. That should just fold nicely. Then I'm going to do one at ten. And then to 14.4. Um, just check that that's right. And there's a nice bit of um, space all the way around the edge. Um, and then I'm going to use the two different size mountain stamps so you can see the slightly different size and i've got some post-its here as well so i'm gonna possibly try and overlap the mountains and um, so i need to use the marking technique so make sure the sticky bit is at the top and when you stamp it onto the post-it make sure a bit of the mountain is on that sticky bit because that's the bit you need obviously to attach to it so we're just going to cut those out quickly so this one doesn't come with a die set or a punch but all the shapes i think looking at them obviously this is the first time i've inked it up a fairly um 
straightforward, I'd say, to cut out. The only, the hardest one I think is going to be Yeti, but even that I don't think is particularly difficult. In the bin. Let's just put that one to one side and I just want to stamp them at the bottom I've got my stamping piece but I always put a bit of paper down on it not always because I have actually got my marks on it I obviously don't always do it but I do try to do it the uh, best I can where did I put my okay our ink pad is here so I'm gonna start with black one, start at one end and then I'm gonna pop it over the top of the one I've just stamped. I'm gonna stamp it up a little bit so you can see it goes like that and then the next one I do want it down a bit so actually I can just stamp it as it goes into the end of that one and then this one again pop the mask down I don't want it quite as high so let's put it here okay like that so that looks really really good <laughs> um I'm gonna pop this one on the end Using the lines of the mountains is quite a good way to do it. Again. That one probably would have been all right actually. But just a bit on the safe side. Well, some of these you're not actually going to see because the Yeti is going to be in the way. But there we go. I'm just going to do it like that so that we can put a sentiment um, at the bottom. And I've just got some colours here. So I'm going to go fairly blue grey, a little bit of um, crumb crake. I think that's it. Yeah. Um, just to match the papers um, so I've got balmy blue which is the same colour as the card base I'm using make sure I get all that detail in first okay do, I'm going to try and do a big one and a small one in the same colour. Not, mm, I haven't decided how far down I'm going to colour. We'll leave it at that at the moment and then we'll um, see. So this is dark balm blue. That one in. I like this blue actually. I think it's a really nice one. There we go. One and then let's go blue. So this is dark smoky slate. Um, do the taller one in that one. This one always scares me because when I colour it in actually and when I stamp it it's always really dark but it does then dry a lot lot lighter so going on with that one and then let's do this one here That one I think is going to be covered by the Yeti, but we will see. And then we've got top concrete as 
well. Again, this one dries a lot lighter. I wanted to do the mountains and the around a fairly neutral colour and then I think I'm going to do the presents and the um, hat in a much much brighter um, colour. Mm. I wonder if I've got enough in my light. Let's make it slate. Oh, there you go. It's just... Okay. Right, so that is that done. And I'm actually now just going to cut this out along here. And I'm going to layer it on some of this sparkly paper. It's been a bit of a crazy week, so hence why I haven't already prepared something although I have been thinking about it I did um I know I wanted to use this one because I haven't had a chance to use it yet um but um I wasn't a hundred percent sure what it was that I wanted to do but I thought be really nice to use it with this celebration um paper and obviously take advantage of that whilst we still can because celebration items obviously there's only a limited run on them um so we never know how long they are going to last for so i don't need to make it as long as that piece because it's going to go like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this down first and then put the other bit over the top. I haven't decided if I'm going to do it. I think I'll do it flat and then we'll do the Yeti with um, dimensionals. So let's stick that one down. That is a really really shiny piece. Let's put a little bit of glue on. I never put very much, very much on at all. Okay. Yeah, so that's that bit. It look, does probably look a little bit odd at the moment. Um, so I'm going to use my spare bit here and I'm going to stamp my Yeti. I might change it actually and stamp him in grey and not black. Let's go. Let's go grey granite. This one, let's see what this comes out. Comes out like in this one. So it's quite a big stamp. Oh my block needs a clean. If we don't like it, we'll turn it over and we'll uh, do it again. Oh no, he's cute. We like him. Um, I'm going to use the light balmy blue and my colour lifter um, for just to give him a bit of his face. And they've done that in the one on the catalog actually, and it does look quite. I'm just going to use the pen end and not the brush end. Okay, I'm going to lighten that up a little bit. Give it a minute and it will start to lighten. I reckon by the time I've cut that out, that will be done. So this is going to be the test that how easy it is actually to cut him 
out. So it goes to the zoo yesterday and um, it was quite warm here. We got the down there and it was freezing cold and we had <laughs> like t-shirts and shorts on. Everyone else had like jumpers and coats and so we weren't very well prepared. And that was a bit of a, a mum fail. Um, never mind, we survived. We saved... The idea was the I'd kept promising to go to the soft play bit because whenever we go at the weekend it's always really busy and I hate being in there when it's that busy because they're only little. Um, so I kept promising we'd go in the week when it was quiet and stuff. So the plan was to stay inside most of the day anyway. So it worked out really well. We do go and see some of the animals. Um, we go quite a lot, so it's not as if I feel that like we're um, missing out avoiding the animals and we did see them and we saw some baby meerkats which were really cute um i haven't seen baby meerkats before i don't even like meerkats but the baby ones were really cute um, should we put it here to one side because i don't want it to overhang the card let's put him here i think probably going to change my mind but we'll see about there wasn't it so you can still see that mountain I don't want to block them out too much there we go so he's cute so let's do him a hat Um, let's get some little, little block out for the hat. I think it's only a small one. So the hat is actually a Christmas tree. I've decided. Where is it there? And while I'm here, I'll get the present ones out as well. Oh, there's bunting as well. I could use that. No, let's stick. To, let's stick to um one. Not, not get carried away. Let's move my card out of the way. So I'm gonna use this little gap here to do this hat. And then I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stamp a few presents. I don't know how many I'll use. We'll do a few and then it doesn't matter. Um, so what colour looks nice with the blue do we reckon? Shall we go? Shall we go yellow and oranges? Or what do we think? when you're looking for a certain colour you can never see it it's probably really obvious right under my nose really need to um <laughs> tidy them up maybe do you know what they start off in my blends start off in a nice order um which lasts 
uh, about a minute and uh, yeah Keep saying, oh, I'm going to get some storage for them, but I never do. Rubbish. Rubbish. So this is Mango Melody Light and Dark, decided. And then the presents, let's do... I don't like it in these two colours. So this is dark pale papaya. And light clipso um coral. I'm not sure these colours will go, but we'll give it a go once we've got them next to the Yeti in the mountains. I suppose because of these fairly neutral colours, it should, should go. This is the only downside of me not preparing myself. Cut some out. I'm actually going to leave that little bit in because I'm going to tuck it behind his head. Anyway, like this. No, I'm not. I'm going to cut it off and stick it on his head. Like this. Do we reckon he'd have it to one side? I think we would. I feel we would. I feel he's had a one, two, mini um, snow cocked house and he's going to want to wear his hat to one side. Can stick that one there. His head. Quickly trim these ones off. Concentration face is full on currently. Oh. This is when there's a bit of cutting um, involved. going to do my order this week but there's a bit of an issue I saw with the um, ordering so I'm going to put it on hold hopefully it will be resolved they're generally quite quick at sorting things like that out um, so I'm hoping by Monday it's sorted so this is my first little jog if anyone wants anything um then please drop me a message um if anyone needs any glue or card or ink or um you've seen something you're liking the little new mini catalogue or celebration so don't forget celebration only runs till the end of august but it is until stocks last so all those um, free products that you can get when you spend them £45 they are obviously only going to last um, well they won't last very long to be fair so if there's anything anybody wants try and drop me a note over the weekend a message over the weekend and I can add it to my order Let's have him holding a present. Actually, that's better. And then... Look 
other ones down here. So I didn't put a dimensional on there because I thought, shall I move some of this stuff out of the way? Um, to stick them on so that they're overlapping. So just a tiny little bit of glue there. Let's leave it as three because then I can try and fit a little sentiment in. So the one I wanted was to use, get ready, get Yeti to party, it's your birthday, which is here. I'm hoping what I should have done, probably put my sentiment, do you know what, take that off, let's put the sentiment on. And then let's put the um, presents on. <laughs> that'd make a, that'd be a great idea, Carl. Well done. Good, good thinking that. Um, let's put this here, and then let's put the presents back on under there, like that. So I just need to put a little bit on the inside. Again, so I'm going to do 10 by 14.4. This thing, I might treat my trimmer. To a wash today <laughs> it needs it it is filthy um so as i said there's some bunting in here so i'm gonna use that on here just because i just like to try and use as much as possible Use a mixture of all the colours that we've used um, in here. In absolutely zero order. I do always feel that like Yetis would just throw like a party together. Like I don't reckon they've got a box of like party supplies. I think they'd. Um, literally just put anything together and make do so I feel we can get away with this being really random colours well that works out hard doesn't it Oh, I'm not going to use all of them. Almost there. And the tiniest little bit. away um I'm going to also I'm gonna get a little bit of the yeti back in as well I'm just gonna stamp a little hand coming in with that spare present I think that we've got we can just pop it on his hand here. Like this. 
I'm just get a little hint of him coming in. Um, so the only thing I haven't put on it is a happy birthday. Mm. Mm. Oh look, there's a nice one in penguin place. On. It's a tiny little one. Oh. No, you can pop it in the middle. There we go. And then stick this in our card. I always think it's nice when the inside ties in ties up with the outside i think that works really well there we go there's our yeti it looks a little bit christmasy <laughs> because of the colors i've used but a little not christmasy because i've put a birthday on it and um, so this is using the celebration um gold and silver um, speciality paper 6x6 six that are free with a £45 purchase um, and I've used the Yeti to Party um, stamp set for the background and the Yeti and then all these little bits come in and then just a little bit on the inside as well to continue it so it's a really I think multifunctional stamp set um, that's why I went for it it's very similar to the penguin one from last year if you remember, it's got Christmas and birthday in. Um, so these ones are generally really good value for money because it's not just a Christmas um, stamp set. And I hope I haven't made it look too Christmassy. Maybe with the silver and the blue, I have a little bit. Um, but brightened it up with these little hat that used to be a tree um, and some presents. So thank you very much for watching and joining me this morning for some crafting. I hope you all have a lovely hot um weekend and that you managed to all stay nice and cool um because i think it's going to be hot and it's going to be hot next week so i'll catch up with everybody next week if you haven't all melted um by then so i'll speak to you all later bye